We want to take part in a capstone that we can keep passing down through the classes. Our Mount Lassen capstone focused on climate change and its harmful effects. With our capstone, our goal is to teach students about climate change and its dangerous effects, educating others about climate change and how they can make a difference at home. Individual effort at home can inspire others to make their own change until it becomes a chain. To do this, we spent one week at Lassen doing different activities to teach about climate change. My name is Cole Pineda. My name is Nico. My name is Victoria. And my name is Santiago. My name is Vincent. My name is Jose. Hi, I'm Emma. And this is our Mount Lassen capstone. How was your experience with the trip overall? Uh, it was fun because we got to learn from the people that led it and uh, we got to hike and kind of go off trail, which is fun and new. Alright, did this experience encourage you to participate more in the problem of climate change? Uh, actually, yeah, it, it, it did kind of inspire me to like, do something about climate change. Like, I've been starting to use less electricity, stop wasting running water because I saw all the impacts of like, oh, there's like trash in our water. Because over there, there were some dirty spots uh, with trash bags. I just sad to see it. Is there anything new that you learned that you feel like could benefit you or others in the future? Um, being more prepared is one thing because I was somewhat prepared for this trip, but I wasn't really that prepared. Well, I was prepared, but I wish I was more prepared. Yeah. How did the trip affect your perspective on the problem of climate change? Um, the leaders really talked about climate change a lot and they helped us like realize how different it was from being here in a city to Mount Lassen. You can really see the difference that Mount Lassen was like a lot cleaner than here and so they really just showed us that we have to like change our ways. How do you feel this is different from other projects on climate change? Um, this is different from a lot of projects about climate change because Mount Lassen, you get a first-hand look on climate change when most um, when most projects just show you like the effects of climate change like from second-hand view. Since the 19th century, the planet's surface temperature has risen by about 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit due to carbon emissions released from producers. The released emissions cause an increase in summer heat, which during the time created droughts and do not supply the correct nutrients for plants to grow in agricultural environments. Ice masses like those in Antarctica and Greenland have seen a large decrease from the extensive heat. Water levels have even grown, have even grown by 8 inches in the last decade alone, which threatens many animals and plant life including all indigenous people who live on islands outside of major landmasses. This may be achieved by the storms and tornadoes that develop from the variation in climate and wind, which lead to flooding and the increase in water rising to about 1 to 4 feet by 2100. 2016 was the warmest year on record and set a record for 8 of those years, 12 months, aka January to September, being the hottest on record for the respective months. Did having seven members in your group make it a challenging process to play out last night? Um, no, it actually helped a bit because we all were able to contribute our own skills and talents to the group and we could separate the work through, uh, through all of us. Right. What was difficult about planning for last night? Uh, it was difficult coordinating with all the parents and uh, all the students and leaders that were involved with the trip and along with you know the campers that were going and we had to make sure to communicate extra uh, with everyone to make sure everyone knew what was happening and going on and especially since it wasn't really affiliated with Moreau it was uh, especially difficult to pull off since um, we didn't have any Moreau chaperones so we had to be extra careful in planning everything. Was everything the way you planned it out? Uh, definitely not. There was a lot of things that it wasn't envisioned in my mind happening, such as like complications or anything, anything we had to change. A lot of what I envisioned was like a utopia for our capstone, 
and it was a lot different than how I usually go camping, and I just have to adapt to that. What unseen complications happened during the trip? Probably the biggest complication was right before we were getting ready to leave, and we had to pack up all the vehicles. There was not enough room, so we had to get creative and to be able to bring everything we wanted to and needed to. What was the number one concern for the trip while planning it? Uh, the number one concern was safety, as in, uh, well, first of all, our biggest hike was a little bit risky, as in it was about a couple thousand feet up in the air, and there was snow everywhere, so obviously we had to band together, make sure that we all had the same goal of getting everybody up to the mountain and back down uh, with no harm, and then that everybody would come back safely. Were there any times during the making of this project where you felt like you couldn't live up to the expectations or you wanted to give up? Um, there were many times where uh, when we were scheduling and the schedule didn't go right, I was thinking, uh, well, man, that's it. Uh, I guess we're just going to be a regular camping trip. Uh, but uh, a lot of our fellow leaders, and adult leaders and our chaperones, uh, they, they helped us compromise and they had a lot of great ideas that really um, that really helped the project move forward um, when we felt like it was going to flatten out and not be as fun. Um, so they really made it fun. They really made it everything that we hoped it to be, not just us. Um, the, sh the chaperones really do make a difference um, in everything, especially tra transportation. Since we're high schoolers, we're not legally allowed to drive the chaperones. Do provide that transportation and they provide all the support for us. Um, in our trip, um, you know that's that's one really important thing. So you want to get chaperones that believe in you and believe in the things that you can do as a project. Um, so that's why we chose the chaperones that we did. Um, and like and like I said, it really worked out for us and it really helped us in the long run. Do you think you left a lasting impact on the project? Yes, in a way. Um, why? Because I brought my parents and they made things a little more exciting for everyone. There are many struggles along the way when planning lasted, as any project wouldn't be able to achieve success without it. Mistakes and setbacks are what teach us to look at the bigger picture and encourage us to take big steps towards finding resolutions to these struggles. The biggest struggle we encountered was trying to split the work between the many leaders we had in the group. Planning this trip towards the end of the year set us back a ton. This timing only piled up the work for a select few of us, capstone leaders, and required all seven of us to work together. Not only did this trip become a success because of our collaboration, it allowed us to show our individual strengths as leaders, which then in turn led us to know that we were creating something special for those who came on the trip wanting to learn about climate change. There are many ways we can conserve energy at home and at the same time reduce our electricity bills. During extreme weather, only use a the thermostat when necessary. And when the thermostat is in use, be sure to only have it set on the desired temperature, as having an extremely high or low temperature will not heat or cool down the house faster. Using natural light instead of turning on the lights at home will reduce the use of energy. Using dishwashers, washing machines, or dryers at night can help cool the house down as well as you will be not be putting as much strain on the power grid since most households use machines during the hours of 4 to 6 p.m. If possible, avoid washing your clothes with hot water. Replace warm or cold water whenever you can. This is because the washing machine will spend 90% of its energy heating up the water used to wash the clothes and only 10% actually running the machine. Replacing the shower heads at home from a flow rate of 5 gallons per minute to 2.5 gallons per minute is also beneficial for the environment because you will be using a lot less water per shower. Plant as many trees as you can. Trees can significantly reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which is the main cause of global warming. This is why it is very important to limit the amount of trees we cut down, and even more important to replace the trees we actually do cut down. Us humans are the main cause of climate change. This means that we are the only ones capable of reducing the damage that we have inflicted on the earth, or we need to find a new solution. Greenhouse gases, mainly carbon dioxide, are trapped in the earth's atmosphere. This is the main contributor to global warming. Trees and plants that undergo photosynthesis are what clear out the excessive amounts of carbon dioxide that we humans produce. However, due to human interference, there are not enough trees to counteract how much carbon dioxide there actually is in the atmosphere. 
This is the only planet that humans currently live on, so we should want to take care of it to maintain and create a livable and healthy place for ourselves. However, if we continue this harmful lifestyle that we have grown accustomed to, we will make the Earth inhabitable. So let's be aware of climate change. How we can each do our part. Let's thrive on our only planet. Here, join Mount Lassen 2020.